Hey traders, my name's Logan and I love trading. For me to build an expectation of tomorrow, let me quickly remind you of yesterday's closing analysis and then show you how today's charts responded. Yesterday, the bulls and bears were quite active throughout the day, but into the close, the bears took out structure and they were selling off liquidity. It left me asking, could the bears continue to push tension down and get bearish trending structure in the market today? Now, before I show you the charts, let me remind you, this video is about an easy, reliable narrative each day for you to follow. If you want to learn how to actually use these tools intraday for trading, come join my Discord. Shoot me a message, I'll invite you. That being said, let me show you the charts for today. Stick around after I'll tell you what I see coming up tomorrow. Let's start by looking at decay. Could the bears, you remember that's the question, could the bears continue to sell off the market? And right here in the open, the bears showed up and sold off liquidity right into a sample of the bulls, right there. And the bulls bought it up. So immediately the bears show they can show up, but the bulls also show up and buy up liquidity within the first few minutes of the day. Right after we have a sample of the bears here, and you can see the bears struggle to sell this off and the bulls buy it up here. So we have a few samples and the bears are stepping aside, allowing the bulls to take over liquidity in the market. This pushes up to sample the bears again and again, where they sell off liquidity from the highs. Now, what's important here was to see if those bears could keep control of that market structure. You remember it had pushed down. Let's look at tension. Look at that. Right from the open, the bulls gapped tension up and kept it up all day, closing in a bullish trending mindset. Day one, in a bullish trending mindset, the market actively seeks bulls to see if they are still active and still able to impact tension. This is because tension stayed up all day. So this right here was quite a reversal. It's not the first time we've seen this in the last little while. Now, looking at the morning here, you could see that the bears were really struggling to impact tension as they were trying to sell here, but the bulls were not. Into the highs, they had a sell here and then here, and you could see it actually took quite a while before they did impact tension, but they did impact the broad market structure. Now, looking at decay, the market moved down. So we've established that the bears did have some control in the market today, as well as the bulls. Right here, you see the bulls got sampled, but failed. They failed. I'm gonna mark an X for failed to buy up liquidity here. Looking at velocity, there was a sample of the bears right here. There's the volume for it. Checking out tension, they impacted the broad market structure. So again, the bears did similar to yesterday. They were able to impact the broad market structure and sell off liquidity. I expect this behavior to continue. Yes, there is bullish structure in the market, but I have seen the bears actively selling off the market when they had liquidity presented. So I expect that behavior to continue. If the bulls can show up in the morning sometime and buy up liquidity, they could continue to keep a bullish structure in the market, but they're gonna have to show up and buy liquidity tomorrow. They failed today into the close. So going into tomorrow, I will be bearish. The bears were the last ones in the driver's seat pushing down on structure or tension. And I expect that behavior to continue into tomorrow. Now keep in mind, there is bullish structure in the market. So if the bulls show up, they'll have an excellent chance of maintaining control of the structure. But for now, going into tomorrow, I will be bearish. Doesn't mean I'm short, it means I'm thinking like a bear. I hope this video helped you in some way. I put the, them out every day of the week to provide an easy narrative. Again, I hope it helped you. Share it with your friends, subscribe if you'd like. And as always, 
Good luck trading.